Old Pirate's House, associated with Savannah's maritime history and Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island. They used to show that on Disney all the time. So this was built in 1754. All visitors welcome. Holla. Gar! All right. <laughs> For very close is, uh, or the keep close away is the Winchester home. Have you ever heard of the Winchesters? The person who is the uh, heir of the Winchester Rifles oh, yes. was the, was the also the make or the builder of the Winchester home. She had a seance claiming that the original ghost from the death of the Winchester Rifles forced her to continue to build to keep the ghosts away. And that's kind of like the same idea. Gone. Doors going to nowhere, staircases to go nowhere, all to keep ghosts away. Nowhere? Yep. Oh, wow. And if you, you walk we can walk as far as we can? can. All right, all right. I'm going to try to go through the door. Careful. Old James um, does haunt the place. <laughs> all right, little James, I'm just coming to say hi. You take care. Have a good day. All right, I'm out. Yeah. Oh, it's the hat. So I'll put it on. Punch out mustache. Fasten to your nose. Gar. All right. Gar, matey. Thank you so much for all your help. This is um, corn fritters. So it's like a little cornbread pancake and the grilled shrimp with the chipotle aioli. Ooh. This is good old southern okra gumbo. It's got a little andouille sausage in it. Mm. I like to put hot sauce in mine. I this will try. is my favorite. This is fried green tomatoes. It's our homemade pimento cheese with gouda in it. Oh, I love it. With the chipotle aioli. Oh my goodness. So that is like my favorite right there. And you've got biscuits and corn muffins there, honey butter and orange marmalade. Somebody's awesome. having fun today. Thank yes, you so they are. You're much. You're welcome. All right, Métis, the first thing we're going to try is the okra gumbo with andu sausage and other items. First of all, it smells amazing. Like they just finished cooking it. Gar. Gar. This is good. All right, let's get to the next thing. The corn fritters and the blackened shrimp. Eat that. Mmm. Look at the juiciness. Hey, Look at leave the it up there and I'll take it. <laughs> See, I'm getting myself in trouble. All right, I better hurry up for someone take my food. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take one of the shrimp off, rub it in the aioli. There you go. You get one last look before that thing goes down. Goes down the hatch. No pun intended. It actually came out. All right, here we go. It's juicy. And it's flavored all the way, even to the shell. I know some of y'all don't like to eat the shell, but they even got flavor on the shell. They're not playing. All right, now we have the uh, corn fritter. We can see it's not just jiffy cornbread mix. It's, we got the corn up in there. I see some green seasoning that could be parsley, the regular whatever. But it's definitely some flavor put in there, some love. When I put the biscuit in that okra and it sucked up all that flavor, this did the same exact thing with the aioli. The corn cake is seasoned very well, and then when you put the aioli on it, it brings it to another level. Gar! Mmm. Oh yeah. All right, we have our fried green tomatoes right here. This actually isn't on the menu. You have to order it secret, don't, and tell them Jay told you that. Gar! Okay. So let's uh, let me get a, a knife. I'm gonna try and cut this up to size. All right, we're gonna cut this up to size. Now my dad used to make fried green tomatoes back in the day, so I'm not really a uh, complete stranger to this. But then again, I am a complete stranger to this because I never wanted to eat them when he cooked them. But there's a tomato right there. As you can see, that green tomato hanging on the side. Let's take a bite. It's crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. I like that contrast of taste. The tomato is really, really juicy up in there. I think this is rice here. Like a rice pilaf. Let's try the rice pilaf. Mmm. Overall, 
If you come to Savannah, this should definitely be one of your spots. Definitely has some history. They give you tours and the food is just off the hook. And it's full of flavor and I, I definitely recommend the Pirate House. All right, so on to the next one, Gar.